So it explores the ability for political power to corrupt an individual's moral integrity. So instead of just saying to corrupt, does everyone see how if we ended the sentence where we were before at step two, to corrupt what? I don't actually know what it's corrupting. Do you see how that's still quite vague? Whereas now, hopefully intuitively, it feels like that, that concept there is complete. It still felt incomplete in the middle one. Does everyone see that? So even at that second step where we said the ability for power to corrupt, maybe that's a, a nice start for like a, a short one-liner to begin the whole thing. But ideally, you'd want the third sentence there, the third layer. That's where I feel like, okay, you've said the type of power, you've said what it's doing, it's corrupting, and you've said what it's corrupting. I feel satisfied with that level of sophistication because it is specific. And again, using a more specific tip there, we've avoided using something like how, and then you can layer in a couple of other things. Potentially when you revise it, you might want to bring in other elements, but don't overcomplicate this process. We're mainly focusing on here, just being more specific, but build out from that starting point. So if you're ever stuck, you can start with something like Shakespeare explores power. And then you literally just branch it out step by step like we've done here, and you'll arrive at that end point. Sometimes if you try and get to that third step in the first go, you'll be overwhelmed and demoralized a little bit at times, right? You'll be like, oh, I don't know how to reproduce that. But actually, when I did that, it was just going through those steps. So start really basic and then force yourself to go through this process and you'll end up somewhere like that if you just ask yourself the questions. Mm -hmm.